Building upon the last tutorial of function expressions, let's create a simple adding machine. So on line eight, I have variable number one and number two have both been created. However, at this time, of course, they're both going to be undefined. I haven't uh, put anything in there. I have actually have two separate variables here within the calc function. Those are user num1 and user num2, and I'll be passing data to those. Those will be local within the scope of the calc function. All right, so let's say that I want to have um, users enter numbers that can be added. So I'll start off by having var, well, actually, i just go ahead and use the existing number one. I'll say number one equals prompt, and then I'll have text enter your first number. I'll um, copy and paste this because the next one will be quite similar. And I'll just say number two. And then instead of your first number, we'll say your second number. And then I'll call the function. So on line 18, I'll type calc and I'll pass number one and, pardon me, number one and number two in there. And then it should, oh, well, I have to actually add a function in here. I have to actually add my code. So user num1, uh, actually, let me do it this way. Variable total equals user num1 plus user num2. And then on the next line, I do an alert where I'll alert out the total. All right, so there's a few different ways to write this, but this should work. Let me test this. Um, it'll at least work to get to get an initial result. So we have enter your first number. I'll type five. The next number five, and it's going to be fifty-five. Well, of course, five plus five is not fifty-five. So let's go see what the problem is. Uh, it looks all good. It looks like it should be adding. Line twelve um, actually adds them together. We create a total. So what is the issue? Well, the issue is that we enter them, and for adding, it's not going to work. If we were to multiply, it would work. But for adding, uh, it's treating them as strings. So we're going to want to use either the number method or the parse int method. And we're going to want to convert this to a number. So the easiest way here will be um, there's a few different ways to do this. We'll just go ahead and um, write two statements on one line here. I'm just going to write number one uh, equals parse int number one. And then I'll actually copy that because we'll just do the same thing over here. Number two equals parse int number two. And that should be it. All right, let me double check and make sure this is working for us in Firefox. All right, we go, um, let me refresh this. Go make double sure. Okay, five, five, and now we have 10. So good, it's working. The only other thing is that in my parse int, there's a second argument telling it um, what number system to use. And I wanna make sure I specify 10 because you could potentially be using binary, but we'll use um, uh, decimal. All right, looks good. Um, I think that's it for now. So that's a very basic calculator. You could always add more numbers. You could, uh, once again, copy and paste that, have number three. You'd have to accept a number three up here. And change that and so forth. So on line 12, then you would add more numbers. That'd be a very long way to do it, but you could achieve your goal by doing it that way if you wish. So an example of a simple calculator.